Welcome! In front of me I have OnePlus Watch 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, lower button. Keep holding the button until you see the OnePlus logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. In the meantime, we can go to the phone we want to pair our watch with and we need to download and install the OHealth application on that phone so we can pair the devices together. And But before that, we need to make sure that we have the internet connection so we can download the application and Bluetooth enabled so we can pair the devices together. So once you have the internet connection, Bluetooth enabled, open the Play Store on your phone, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in OHealth and then tap on search. And you should see this application, All Health by HeyTap. Uh, tap on it, then tap on install button to download and install it. You may see this pop -ups, the, these pop-ups on the, on the screen about the OnePlus uh, Watch 3 uh, wanting to pair uh, because it turned on as you can see. Ignore them for now, just wait until the All Health application is done installing. Okay, and once the OHealth application is done installing, we can tap on open uh, to open the app. Here you can select the country or region and you can do that by tapping on this uh, number or pop-up. And you can scroll through the list, finding find the region you want to use. And once you're done, you can uh, tap on it to select it and then tap on continue. And then we can tap on agree. Okay, and now you should see the home page of the app. Now we can tap on devices, tap on add device, tap on allow, tap on allow. Find the OnePlus Watch 3 on the list of devices, tap on it and the app should start searching for the nearby devices and should detect your watch. So tap on the name of the watch, tap on more, uh, then tap on agree. You can of course check or uncheck the boxes right here for the terms of service. You can uncheck the location or check it. Same for the usage diagnostic data, but I'm just gonna tap on agree to continue. On the watch we should have the pop-up, but we said the we see the language options. So I'm just gonna swipe right on the screen to go back. Maybe now the pop-up will come on on the watch. Yep. So we can tap on the check mark to confirm, um, tap on pair. Okay, it looks like something went wrong. So I'm just gonna close the app and reopen it. <laughs> tap on devices, tap on add device, select watch free, tap on our watch tap on agree, tap on the check mark, tap on pair, oh this time it's going further so I think we fixed the problem. Okay once you see this screen you can check the box and tap on continue. Here you can select the preferred wrist, I'm gonna select left one. And right here we can set up our watch in two modes, the standard mode or the parental control. So if you want to uh, give this watch to a, to a child or, or, or maybe somebody you don't want to have access to all of the functions on the watch, you can tap on parental control and set it up uh, according to your preferences. I'm just gonna tap on standard mode. Right here we can allow the a watch to communicate with our phone. This will allow you to pick up the calls uh, from your phone with the watch, decline them, reply to the SMS and stuff like that. So if you want to use any of these features, tap on allow and then tap on allow. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip this step. And here we can copy a Google account uh, to our watch. This is useful if you want to use um, any of the 
Google services or features on your watch, something like Play Store, Gmail and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip this step. If you want to copy a Google account from your phone, if you have any Google account, it will appear right here on the list. You can select it and then you can tap on continue and we'll start uh, copying the account. Sometimes it will ask you for the password to confirm that it's you. Like now, we need to enter the password for our Google account. So give me a couple seconds. And once you enter the password, it will start basically copying the account to your watch. And right here we can set up a Google Assistant. If you don't care about it, you can tap on no thanks. And if you want to set it up, just tap on setup and follow the instructions on the screen. So you can tap on more, agree. Basically you need to agree to the uh, terms of use and stuff like that. And once you're done, tap on OK. And here we have the lock screen password. This is useful if you want to have a lock screen on your watch. So if you stop using your watch, it will automatically lock itself after uh, some period of time and then you will need to enter the password uh, or other pin or pattern to unlock it. Also, I believe if you take it off of your wrist, wrist, it will automatically also lock in, which helps protect your watch from the third party users and stuff like that. So if you want to set up a lock screen, you can select numeric or pattern and then enter the stuff you like to protect your watch. Then you will need to repeat it again to confirm the pattern or the pin. And once you're done, it will be set up. I'm just gonna tap on skip to skip this step. Here we can install additional apps. You can tap on recommended for you and basically download the recommended applications. I'm just gonna uncheck all of them because I don't want any apps for now. And you can tap on continue or you can not bother with it at all and tap on skip to skip this step. And here we can allow the permission for the uh, notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. So let's say you re receive the notification on WhatsApp on your phone, that notification will also pop up on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. If you want to use these features, tap on allow, tap on allow. Here we can tap on continue. Okay. And after a while, you will see the devices page again. On it, there should be your OnePlus Watch uh, free. And on your watch, you can go through the tutorial or skip it. And then you will be able to use your watch normally. Which means that the devices are paired together, of course. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.